Right, so um, these two cells at the end were down to 2.7, so I'm going to attempt to revive them uh, by charging them individually. Like this, I don't know if you can see that, I'll try and move up here. I'm charging at 1 amp just to see if I can get the voltage up and see if they hold the voltage. So um, we'll see uh, very shortly, I'm going to stick the other one on, let's see what happens. Right, so I have gone through two cells so far. These were the two uh, flat ones. They were showing 2.7 volts. Um, one I've labelled good, and the other one that was in parallel with it was labelled bad. That one's only holding 3.8 volts, although it's still better than nothing. The other ones are holding 4 volts. And this one is still charging at 0.2 amp. It's holding 4.2 when I unplug that I expect that to drop to 4 like that one just working my way through them charging them one at a time uh, to see how they do and the ones that are the ones that are um, only where's where it gone the ones that are 3.8 already I'm just uh, drawing some of the power out to see how it goes so they get a fair charge. So this one's put in 740 milliamps without having any discharge. If I do this torch up. Sorry. Now you can see, I use the torch and I'll leave it on the side just to flatten them off a little bit and then uh, give them a charge to see if it brings up the voltage. So um, I'm going to carry on, I'm going to finish these uh, other three cells off tomorrow um, and um, hopefully I'll have um, some good cells that I can put together in a pack. So the results from two dud um, laptop batteries found in a skip uh, is a 16.8 volt lithium ion battery with a capacity of 7.2 amp hour um, cost me just uh, tape um, my time uh, a balance lead which uh, I had to uh, scrounge off an old remote control car because I lost the other one I ordered um, a few beads of solder some leftover uh, buzz wire from making solar panels and uh, well after the soldering iron fiasco, you could say it cost me two brand new soldering irons, but I would have needed them anyway. Um, so, um, just giving it a final balance charge. Um, I did charge up the cells individually after taking them, them out, and uh, I believe the cause of the failure of the laptop battery was the like the onboard uh, BMS system itself. Uh, there was no voltage. Um, I'll grab the other one. I couldn't get a voltage on any of the pins or underneath so I believe this was why they were thrown out uh, in fact to their entire laptop so there could have been a lot more I could have scrounged but um, I recently um, taken apart uh, this which you might have seen in another video which I still haven't finished off uh, a small UPS system which I adapted does in fact have a 12 volt uh, 5 amp hour lead acid battery in there which has died over time because it has been used and the whole idea is that I will be able to replace um, this battery with lithium batteries um, obviously I have greater capacity at the moment and also greater voltage so I'm going to have to put that to a test and see if it will withstand the higher voltage um, <clears throat> So I'm just going to give that a charge and then we can test it to see how much uh, power that uh, is stored in this battery. Right, so the battery pack has uh, finally charged. Um, I've got the watt meter on with uh, auxiliary power. I'm just using what I've got in my room for this, so because uh, it's quite late at night. Um, going to the auxiliary power, which is uh, 12 volt. 7 amp hour lead acid battery. Um, as you can see, I 
haven't got the um, battery pack connected, uh, please ignore the dodgy wiring. I'm just going to connect this up and uh, begin the. Right, battery pack is now connected. Um, as you can see, if I move my head, zero, 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 zero. Oh, point zero zero two and volts minimum, but that doesn't matter. Um, the pack isn't quite 16.8, it's what it should be, but as these are used or reclaimed cells, it's, uh, it's a little bit lower. So I'm going to turn on... Oh. That's it. I'm just going to turn one set of lights on. Join one amp. And I just want to see how many milliamps or how many watt hours uh, I draw out of this battery before it goes flat. Uh, I am using the auxiliary power because these are lithium cells and they're protected. So when they go flat flat, the power stops coming from the battery pack and all the data on the uh, meter will disappear. So, just have to wait and see. And uh, we should be able to pull some results off of this afterwards. Uh, the battery lasted a fair while last night and I managed to draw off of the battery um, 1.472 amp hour or 20.6 20 watt hours so I'm just going to put this battery on charge and uh, see how much um, it takes to charge the battery and uh, and then we can go from there right that's, uh, that's this pack charged um, we we'll actually see we've put in uh, 1.597 amps into the pack Whereas if we look at what we drew out, which was on the meter, we drew out 1.472 amp hour. Um, so it just goes to show it only takes an extra 100 milliamps over what you've used to charge the battery. There's no great deal of loss in that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, plug uh, the other battery in. This is the uh, set of eight um, Trustfire 4 amp hour. 18650s. Um, we've got four in series and two in parallel, uh, so we should have 16.8 in theory, but it's uh, a little bit lower. Um, and I'm going to charge this up and balance it, and we're going to run the test again tonight to see uh, how much I draw out of this and how much it takes to charge it up. So we can compare the, the used batteries with the the brand new batteries. And uh, not forgetting that this is a um, 16.8 volt, uh, 7.2 amp hour, and this is a 16.8 8,000 amp hour, uh, 8,000 milliamp hour, 7.2 amp hour. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, um, I'll see you later on. Right, now um, it's ready to charge this lithium pet that I used last night. Um, sorry there was no sound in the last part, just showing you the results. Uh, obviously we had um, 20, I think 27 watt hours um, used or 1.954 amp hour. So I'm just going to charge this up now. Um, and I've just forgotten to uh, plug in the balance lead. So I'm going to plug this in, turn it on and uh, I'll let you know how much it's taken. When, obviously when it's finished charging. Hello YouTube, um, the 8 amp hour battery pack has charged and it's uh, taken 2.4 or 2,462 amp hours or 2.4 ish amps um, compared to the amount that came out 1.954 so we round up to 2 amps out to uh, 2.5 in. Uh, it's actually used uh, well an extra 25% uh, on top to charge it, which isn't bad, it's more what I was expecting. Um, but the, the the smaller battery pack, the 7.2 amp hour, or bigger, 
is only taking an extra 100 milliamps to charge so maybe it's just one of those things i'll have to uh, redo the test at a later date but quite happy with that um i'm going to uh, leave this video here thank you very much for watching um i'm going to test it with a 7 amp hour lead acid at the 1 amp just discharge rate to see how much i draw off and how much i need to charge it um and the well do a comparison so anyway thank you for watching please subscribe comment and rate and i'll see you in the next video